Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you give me each and every day as I send back to you as well. And we're all excelling and heading towards a better tomorrow. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have uh, been watching my videos for a while and have not already please what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video and if you are comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two I love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction and if you feel like the video video has been very informative to you go ahead and you know uh very informative to you and gave you good vibes that you uh, love to share with a loved one or a friend please go ahead and do so i got stuck on my words y'all i'm so sorry <laughs> but anyways thank you once again for showing love to the channel and to me and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of the video. I was trying to write something down and say that at the same time I should have did, shouldn't have did that. But anyway, this beautiful meditation I'm listening to that we definitely need in our lives is called Powerful Manifest. Manifest anything you want. Wish, money, luck, and love. Miracles happens fast. Meditation. I will post that link in the description box below. And it's crazy how both of those have been put together. You know, there's so many things we're working towards, you know, that we're trying to get to. But anyways, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, don't pay attention to the closed doors. Don't pay attention to the closed doors. You know how you'll hear that saying or you might be on social media or whatever. And you see these uh, encouraging posts or whatever. And they say how God opens and shuts doors. There's so many times that, you know, God takes things out of our lives and we, we don't understand why. And we try to get that understanding, you know, why why are these people not talking to me no more? Or, you know, I left my, my girlfriend up and left me or my boyfriend up and left me and they're not talking to me no, no more. You have to really see the true meaning behind all these things is, are these people bringing you joy? Are they bringing you hard times? Are they, you know, soaking up your energy? Are they draining? Are they bringing you growth? You know, God closes certain doors for a reason. And it's just sometimes we have a bad habit of trying to open those doors back. Like God has tried to take people out of my lives, out of my life. And there'll be times I will reach out to them and they won't answer. And I get upset about that. And it's just like, why does that happen? It's like, well, you asked. For God to take things out of your life that is no longer serving you, that hurts you, that, you know, they talk behind, you know, they smile on your face and talk behind your back. Or they're just people that are just soaking up the energy and they're blocking your blessings. And it's just like when we have those things in our lives, sometimes when we keep constantly putting ourselves through that, we lose people because of the fact is, you know, they try to tell us things and stuff like that. We don't listen. It's just like so many people I've lost. <laughs> you know, out of this situation where, you know, I tried to tell them about certain things and I got tired of saying the same thing over and over and over again, especially when I'm in a situation myself that I can't change. I have to wait. That's like the position that I, I mean, no matter how many times I try to get out of it, different ways I try to get out of it. I am still here. So obviously there's a purpose why I was still here. I had to be patient. When I asked God for patience, he had he put me in a situation where I had no choice to be patient. When you ask for certain things like that, you have to be very careful about what you ask for because you you will get it. You will get it. You know, you will get it. So it's just like when God closes that door that means another one's about to open because if we pay attention to that closed door so many times, you, you're you not even going to pay attention to that door that's opening for you. That's why it's just like I have to constantly tell myself, even though there are situations that I'm in where people have hurt me, people are still trying to hurt me, try to take personal jabs because hurt people hurt people. <laughs> they will go out their way to hurt you just because they're hurting themselves and they choose not to heal. So they feel like they have to go out their way to hurt people. You know, that's the reason why a lot of um, empaths attract narcissistic people, because those are the ones that need the healing the most. Even though we feel like we're broken, they're more broken as well. 
So they need to feel, you know, we need to be able to help them heal. And there are sometimes they have to get that karma back from seeing us overcome a lot of things and walking away for them to be able to appreciate like, dad, you know, <laughs> maybe I should have paid attention to what they were doing or maybe I should have listened. But it's just like, you know, so many different things go on in our lives that, you know, it's, sometimes it's hard to explain. But when we have those closed doors in our lives, don't go trying to open it. Don't be trying to Jimmy rig it to open, open it back up when God surely put that dead bolt lock on there and say, leave this door alone. Pay attention to this one over here. But if you don't pay attention to this one over here, this one going to be shut. And you ain't going to be able to come back to it because I constantly keep opening this door. But you're looking this way, worrying about what t Sally did to hurt you. You know, this person did to take something away. You lost this job, but yet you have a job, you have money, you have a soulmate right here that's coming in, but you don't pay attention to all that because you're paying attention to the things that doesn't even, you know, even matter anymore. So it's just like I always put myself in that position to say, you know what, those things in that shut door is there for a reason. They're supposed to be shut, put away, you know, when it goes to loss, when it comes to trauma, all those things supposed to go behind that locked door. And they're supposed to stay there. You're supposed to be able to heal. Be happy from the things that you have experienced. Being able to get that knowledge and that growth from the things that has meant to hurt you. Meant to break you. And all those things. So, you know, walk through that open door. Pay attention to the doors that are open for you. Don't pay attention to the closed ones. Because those ain't going to do nothing to set brain misery. So, I hope you are able to get something out of content in this video. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. I hope you have a blessed weekend. Y'all, I relaxed. I had to take them two days off. I was so tired. <laughs> I was so, so tired. And I hate it that I wasn't able to do any videos, but I know I needed to relax and be in my good self, my good bubbly self, so I can be able to talk and be able to voice what I need to voice out in a good way, you know, be able to do it right. <laughs> so I missed y'all, I thought a lot about y'all, and I'm glad that y'all are back. Thank you for having patience with me and coming back and watching my videos. And if you can, um, during the day, I do have a live chat that that I have if you pay attention to your notifications don't come in and um, sometimes I do them around 12 12 30 on my time and whenever it comes in it'll be either whatever time whatever 130 whatever <laughs> on your time and then I do it again at 9 9 30 um, in the evening time so if you can't catch us in the noon time please go ahead and try to catch us on that afternoon time you want to enjoy yourself we voice a lot of things that we struggle with we send each other uplifting prayers you know we give each other advice when we truly seek it you know there's things that we might not be able to see that another empath might be able to see so it's just a lot of us we they're so glad that I put this uh, group support group together and you know we all have fun and have good laughs it's just like I always leave with a headache and a stomach ache because I laugh so hard and I can't breathe and there's so many interesting things that has happened since I've done live so hopefully you'll be able to stop by and check us out you know and you'll never leave the same way you came so, um, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. Uh, my post notification shout out goes to Mr. Boss. Much love to you. Thank you for hitting the notification. And welcome to the beautiful family. I hope you're able to get something out of the videos and the content. So much love to you and many blessings to you. And like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Until next time, I'll see you on my next video or I'll see you on live chat. Please, you know, come and join us. Much love to you. Peace.